Hi guys, this session is all about understanding the basics of authentication and authorization in ASP.NET Core. Authentication is the process of determining a user's identity. Whereas authorization refers to the process that determines what a user is able to do after authentication. Let's take an example of shopping app. When you want to use this app, usually you will have to prove your identity. For that, the first step would be to register yourself with the application. Next time you use those credentials to authenticate yourself. That means you use those credentials. That means username and password to log into that application. That is authentication. Once a user is authenticated, authorization comes into play. Different users may have different levels of access. For example, if you take customer, a regular customer may have permission to browse products, add items to the cart and make purchases. Whereas employee such as a customer support representative may have additional permissions to view order histories, process returns or assist customers with issues. Whereas administrator might have full access to the system including managing product listings, user accounts and system settings. All these things depend upon the role and they come under authorization. ASP.NET Core supports various types of authentications like cookie based authentication, token based authentication, then certificate authentication, Windows authentication, WS Federation authentication and multi-factor authentication. Same way ASP.NET Core supports various types of authorization techniques as well like role based authorization, claim be claims based authorization, policy based authorization, resource based authorization, view based authorization and so on. Let's briefly understand all the authentication techniques. Cookie based authentication utilizes HTTP cookies to store user authentication information, allowing users to access protected resources until the cookie expires. Whereas token based authentication employs tokens, often JWTs, to authenticate users offering secure access to resources without storing session state on the server. Certificate authentication validates users' digital certificates to grant access, ensuring secure communication between the client and server. Whereas Windows authentication authenticates users against Windows accounts, leveraging the underlying Windows operating system for access control. In case of WS Federation authentication, this enables single sign-on across multiple web applications and services using the WS Federation protocol. If we talk about social authentication, this allows users to log in using third-party social media, third-party social media accounts such as Facebook or Google, simplifying the registration and login process. Then comes multi-factor authentication. This requires users to provide multiple forms of identification such as passwords, biometrics or one-time codes for enhanced security. As we have discussed earlier, HP.NET Core supports various authorization techniques. If we have to talk about role-based authorization, this grants access based on predefined roles assigned to users, simplifying permissions management and access control. Whereas claims based authorization controls access based on the claims associated with the user, providing fine grained control over permissions using attributes. Policy based authorization defines access control rules through policies, allowing administrators to configure access based on various factors like roles, claims or resource properties. Resource based authorization determines access based on the properties of the requested resource enabling dynamic authorization decisions tailored to specific resource attributes. Whereas view based authorization restricts access to specific views or components within an application on user roles or permissions enhancing security and user experience. This session was an attempt to understand the basics. In our upcoming sessions, we are going to understand these things in detail. Thanks for your time. See you soon in the next video. Thank you.